Now to a Northeast Memphis property owner, already in environmental court, accused of continuing to illegally dump on his property. Shelby County issued a stop work order back in February, but that hasn't stopped the trucks from rolling in with debris and dumping on the 71-acre site near the Wolf River. Local I team senior investigator Jenny DePrizio went to the site today searching for answers. This stop work order was issued in February. A Shelby County spokesperson says that means all activity on the property is supposed to stop. But that's not what we saw happen today. On Crestview Road, we saw truck after truck coming and going. Get a little closer and you'll see drivers dumping load after load of material under this piece of property, upsetting nearby business owner Todd Tigner. Code enforcement came out here and issued a stop work order. And since then, that he has dumped over 500 loads of debris and dirt. Tigner took pictures from a drone in the air and pictures on the ground of what he says is going on on the property. I found shingles in the debris. I found oil. I found car batteries, tires, garbage that he's covered up. Uh, with dirt even after the stop work order was issued. The land is a former sand mine that shut down years ago. It backs up to the Wolf River and is in a floodplain. Environmentalists are not only concerned about the current dumping, but say allowing a construction landfill to occur so close to the Wolf River could impact our drinking water. Any concentration of material, especially containing contaminants, if there is a hydrologic connection between the upper and the lower, our drinking water is at risk. The property owner told me he did allow construction dumping to occur, and when he was told he needed a special permit for that, he immediately applied for a permit to operate a construction landfill, and he's still waiting for that approval. The owner claims the stop work order doesn't apply to his entire property, just a portion of it. The owner of the property didn't want to do an interview on camera because of his pending environmental case. In the newsroom, Jenny DePrizio, Local 24 News.